Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's WordPress tutorial we're going to take a look at another feature that Revolution Slider 5 offers us and that is the predefined templates and the commercial templates they offer as part of this package. So let's take a look at what they offer, how we can use them and some of the things we could do with them. Okay, so I'm in the admin for my WordPress site and I've got the Slider Revolution homepage open. And as you can see, we've got some of the sliders I've already pre-created. Now, the thing you're gonna notice if we take a look at all these different options available to us, we've now got Add Slider Template. So if I click on that, that'll open up this new window that give us, gives us a pile of predefined templates that come from Theme Punch. Now you'll see that we've got Revolution Base and Premium Sliders, so the premium ones that you have to purchase separately, but these are all ones that come as part of the package. Now there's one caveat to this particular um, option or this particular function. You only get these if you purchase the Revolution Slider 5 software itself. If you have this as part of a theme, you don't get this. Even though it shows in there when you try to download it, you can't actually get access to them. So for the kind of price you're talking about, if you want to have access to these extra features, these extra templates, I would highly recommend you simply go and purchase yourself a copy so you've got a license independent of the theme or any future theme that you're using. For the amount of money they're charging for it, and I'm not endorsed by these by any way or sponsored, it's just worth picking it up. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at what these offer us, some of the functions, and how we can sort of take a look at using these as a basis for future sliders. So as we can see, we've got quite a few different options available to us. We've got the ability to filter these out, so we can say we only want sliders, we only want carousels, or we only want the hero sliders. We can choose what we want, or we can show all. Alternatively, we can go to premium sliders and take a look for any of the premium ones and purchase those separately. But for now, let's just say we're going to pick one of these as a basic example. And if we come down, we can say, well, I could take this not generic or photography, and if you take a look, you can see that all of these are grayed out ever so slightly, whereas this particular one, the newsletter hero, is full color. You can see it perfectly. And if you also take a look at these icons at the top right-hand side of any of these sliders, we've got the magnifying glass so we can take a preview of it, or we have the option to download it, whereas this particular one, we've only got the plus symbol. All that means is that I previously downloaded this template, and if I want to create another instance of it, by clicking the plus, I can simply give it a new name, and then we can load it straight in without the need to download. So I won't deal with that one. We'll just take one of these other options and we'll just click on the download option and we'll take a look at that. Before we do, let's just click on the magnifying glass. We can take a preview of it, check it to see if it's the kind of thing we're looking for. So as we can see, it gives us the image, some animated text, the link through the portfolio, you know, some different things on there. So that's a good example of what this is gonna look like. And then there's the second slide and so on. So if we think, yep, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for, I can close that down. I can just simply come over there and click to download it. That'll ask us, do we want to import this from a local location? In other words, if we downloaded it previously, we've got it stored on our hard drive and not installed as part of our uh, installation of uh, Revolution Slider, or Slider Revolution, sorry. Or we can do online, which will download it to our local installation so we can then start using that for the future. So let's just click online. That'll go through, it tells us to wait a moment, on your speed of your connection this will go through now download it tell you when it's finished downloading and then it becomes available to you to start using and there we have it that's now been downloaded so you can see that's just brought it in exactly as you expect to show us all the revolution sliders we have so i can now simply click to edit this and that'll take us through to the actual slide editor and you can see with this particular example we've got uh, 10 different slides available to us and if we click on any of these slides we can take a look at what features have been set up with that. You can also notice that it's downloaded the images for us which is why it takes a little longer or slower connections or depending on the complexity of the slider itself. So you can see that we've got every element has been downloaded including all the animations, the images, you can see everything so you can use this as a fantastic basis to quickly modify the content of it to create your own sliders all based upon this particular template or design. So it's a great way of quickly creating sliders without having to go through the process of doing every single step. 
you know you've got consistency, you know you've got it set up the way that they've set it up originally. And if you want to make any changes to it, you can simply click on any element that you want. And then you can adjust the animation timings, the animation length. You can adjust the actual type of animation if you want to. Uh, you know, you can change pretty much everything on there. So, like I say, it's a great basis for working with this. You can also come in and go through to the settings and change any of the settings that apply globally to this. So if you want to change the way certain elements uh, interact with, uh, you can just change all that kind of thing. And, and we've got a whole range of different options available to us. So let's just go back to all my sliders. And let's just take a look at another one of these and see the differences. So let's just go to add a slider template again. And let's come down to something simple. Let's just say we want a hero slider this time now. So let's just say we're going to use YouTube Hero. Again, we can say online, let that download to our system, and then we can start working with it. So there we go. That's now been downloaded, so we can now come in and edit that if we want to. Well, that's all there really is to these sliders. You have full control over anyone you download, anyone you think is going to be a good basis for your next project. Give them a try. Like I say, you have to have the full version of Slider Revolution to be able to utilize this, not part of your theme, but for the cost, I would recommend getting it anyway. So you've always got the ability to have the most up-to-date copy, regardless of how long it takes for your theme provider to update their theme when new plugins come out. So from a security point of view, it's a great way of making sure you are you know, secure. Anyway, this has been Paul C for PeaceMag TV. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new videos as they're added. If you've got any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you put on there, and we like to comment back when you ask us any questions. If you thought the video was good, thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, thumbs down. But until next time, take care.